The Institute of Economic Affairs has rejected claims by President Ekufuado that prices of food on the market have reduced. According to the IEA, Ghanaians spend more than 43% of their income on food, which affects their monthly remuneration. Research Director of the Institute, Dr. John Kwache, was reacting to the President's State of the Nation address in Accra. President Ekufuado, at the State of the Nation address, agreed that prices of food items have reduced on the market. He explained that the importation of maize and rice also reduced, but after analysis by the IEA, it says that the prices of food items have not reduced. It cited that some 43% of expenditure are incurred by Ghanaians whenever they visit the markets. If food prices were low, I should, I should be spending just 10% of my total and use the rest to do other things. But if 43% of my total is locked up in something called food, if you go to the more advanced country in the US, you will spend 5% of your total, I mean, your spending in a month on food. You will spend 5%. But here, 43%. So I'm saying that we still have a long way to go. And education. The IEA praised government for the free SHS program, but expressed concern about the costs incurred. It's proposed that government should engage in cost sharing with parents to reduce the budget expenditure on the policy. If some parents can pay, why don't you let, let them pay? Or maybe share the costs. Government bears this, this cost, parents bear this cost. Um, and then because of quality, in terms of quality. Again, because it's so expensive, you cannot provide enough infrastructure and enough facilities and all that. So the argument for cost sharing can also be justified in terms of, you know, we want to be able to um, promote quality. The Institute was also concerned about the job creation for the teaming youth and the strengthening of factories under the one district, one factory policy. I again expressed concern that governments will not be able to fix all the roads across the country before the upcoming elections. On corruption, the IEA was saddened government has not done much. The special prosecutor has been in place for about two and a half years, but he has not prosecuted a single corruption case. He has been resourced and everything. He hasn't prosecuted a single corruption case. In fact, if we are not careful, the special prosecutor's office itself will be corrupted. 